Hello and welcome to my Twin Flame journey. I am Shine and this is going to be the weekly reading for Twin Flames and Soulmates that are currently in separation for the February 21st until the 28th. Um, please keep in mind that these readings are general. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, it's always best to get a personal reading to know what's going on in your situation in particular. And if you would like one, all the information is below. Also keep in mind that masculine and feminine stand more for energies than gender. So whatever side resonates with you, that is your message. And you could flip from one side to the other. You know, again, it's whatever energy that you're holding for the moment. Um, also, I've kind of tried to come up with, I want to start coming up with slight variations on my spreads or newer spreads just to change things up a bit. Um, so we're going to try this out. I have a feeling this is going to be maybe too long. I've been trying to dwindle the readings down um, because, again, not a lot of people have time to watch half-hour readings. So I'll try to move through this as, as quickly as I can. Again, this is a test run. I might eliminate one or two questions just to make it shorter. It just it depends. But you let me know in the comments um, what you think. What we have here is, don't mind if I, I had to write it down so I don't forget, um, the current situation. Uh, what is the overview or the, or the current situation in regards to the two of you? And is this relationship worth saving? I'll show you the cards in a second. And then we have what the masculine is currently feeling about the feminine and the relationship. Same question for the feminine side. What is the connecting feeling or what connects you both in regards to these feelings? Um, then we have here the red cards, which is what is it that you should know? What is it that you need to know about the masculine? And what is it that you need to know about the feminine? What is their current um, situation or energy or thoughts or what's going on with them? Um, and then we also have for the feminine, what the feminine needs to know again about the masculine. What is his thoughts, feelings, desires for the situation? You know, same, same for the what the masculine needs to know about the feminine, and then how this is all affecting the union. Um, and then we have the advice in regards to the whole situation, and then advice for the masculine and advice for the feminine. So as I said, I might eliminate one of these because it's kind of coming out as it's answering the same kind of question but you know it's more information so I'm sure people don't mind so let us let us begin um, what is the current situation we have the web weaver synchronicity divine intelligent divine <laughs> intelligence sorry cause and effect and this is in the ally position which is good and then in the reverse or the challenge position we have Gaia's garden fruition abundance and reaping what you sow so let's take a look at what these two cards are the web weaver is number four The web weaver rejoices that your creations are far reaching and have positive effects on the many. Every action, every thought, every word and deed is woven into the web of creation. When the web weaver appears as your ally, she grants you the way to others of like mind and intention and lets you know you're not alone in your endeavors. Sorry. Just when you need to make a connection, like magic, synchronicity occurs. Music reverberates through the web and plays in harmony with your own. This is a sign to trust in the connectivity between all events. Magic is afoot for you. If your query is about a relationship, the web weaver gives you assurance that meaningful coincidence comes through to give you reason to hope. Potential grows into reality with care and patience. Remember that the web reaches far and wide, and you're only capable of perceiving a small part of it. Trust and pay attention to the patterns you see play out in your life. 
all things will be revealed through the web. And then Geyer's Garden, which is 18. When Gaia appears as a challenger in her garden, she gently points out that you've forgotten to give back to the world, or perhaps you've become lazy, expecting fruit to fall from the tree while you rest below its leaves. Gardens require tending, water, and food for the soil. Everything you have within you is needed in the world, so don't underestimate the power of what you have to offer. Timely effort is called for when Gaia challenges you to help in her garden, so ask not what you will get, but what you can give. You'll pleasantly be surprised by this change of perception. Be careful not to procrastinate too much, or the window of your current opportunity might close. Yet even if you do miss this one, as long as you're willing to help in the garden, you will most certainly see another. So this is about opportunity. That there's an opportunity here to come together. But it's not going to, you know, magically come together because you have to work with the energies. You have to work with the universe. You are the co-creator of your life. So it's basically saying to you to look for all the signs and signals that you've been getting in regards to yourself, this relationship, you know, patterns that you've noticed in your relationships. You know, this is about awakening and healing and grabbing an opportunity while it's here. But again, you need to be able to open up, let go of your fears, take off your masks, ask for, you know, forgiveness or be willing to forgive. Again, it's the whole living and learning. But if you want something to come about, you're going to have to put in the effort. That's basically what it's saying. And then, when asking if this relationship is worth saving, is worth putting in the effort, we have give your relationship a chance. You'll work on your partnership. And then we also have, oops, I'm sorry, past life relationship. You have known each other before. And then, of course, sorry, <laughs> I'm all over the place. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. That's what they're saying. Look for synchronicities. Follow your higher divine guidance in regards to this situation. An opportunity is here, but if you're going to seize it, you're going to have to put in the effort. Um, and it takes two to make that happen. So what the masculine is currently feeling about the feminine and the relationship is this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So he sees you as, as his one or her one, whoever's the masculine. And they feel passionate about you. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. They want to express their love. They want to express their passion. And the feminine... How she's feeling about the masculine is finances and career. <laughs> Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, either with her or she knows there's issues with, with the masculine, or it could be issues for both of them. Um, but as we've seen a reoccurring theme, you know, a lot of people are in codependent relationships now that they went from one situation to another. And now they're thinking about leaving that and going back to the feminine. And of course, finances and finances are an issue if they need to, because it's part of their karmic lesson to become financially independent and not codependent, to enter into relationships for the right reasons and not to have needs met or voids filled. So I guess she's knowing this about the masculine and she's hoping that you know he'll get it together um so that they can retreat and spend time together it is time to disconnect from the world especially if people need to travel to see each other so there's an awareness about the masculine's financial situation or you know this could be the feminines but either way you know Finances have been an ongoing theme as being an issue here, um, both for them individually and as far as one of the issues in this in this relationship could have been an issue in the past and an issue in the present. Um, and 
The combining feelings or what connects you is let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally because there's been a lot of fears and worries and people holding back how they feel because they don't feel that they have what it takes or they don't feel that they'll be forgiven or they don't feel that they have the finances to move forward so might as well say nothing. Um, but they're saying to kind of let all of that go and just allow things to unfold. If you want something, go for it. You know, work out all the details, but don't let that control what you do or don't do because these other things can be kind of worked out. Um, and it's also about, again, living in fear in wanting to control situations, wanting to protect ourselves. They're saying to you, you need to let go of that and to reconcile. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So they're saying, let it go, let it, let it flow. Give your relationship a chance. Let go of control issues. Um, work on what needs to be worked on in yourself and to make it possible for the two of you to come together, but still, you're needing to, to express your feelings. You're at least needing to get on the same page, let each other know how you feel, you know, talk about things and, and allow the rest to kind of fall into place. Now, what the, fem uh, what the masculine should know in regards to the feminine, in case she's having any worries or stresses or whatever, as we have hidden enemy, scandal, woman of the world, gain, stop, look, listen, frustration, judgment, home, surprise. Now, they could be saying that, you know, hidden enemy could be uh, a hidden enemy scandal woman of the world gain. Stop, look, listen. They're trying to tell you to, you know, to not be uh, frustrated, to pay attention that an opportunity is here for a reconciliation if you, you know, and a reuniting of your home together. If you, again, put out there how you feel, you know, deliver a message, speak your truth, say what you have to say, and, and you can move forward. You can have victory in regards to what's happened and, and change how someone's uh, perception of you currently is, you know, helping to heal the scandal of what's transpired with this woman of the world and the woman of the world. Now, again, it could be uh, the woman of the world. It kind of reminds me of the nine pentacles lady. She's independent. She's smart. She's, you know, worldly. This could also be someone who's at a distance. Um, and so th they're wanting you to kind of be aware that Things can turn around, but again, you have to put in the effort. And perhaps even too, maybe the feminine is feeling frustrated. You know, they're wanting you to pay attention. And if you want a reconciliation, if you want forgiveness, or, you know, this needs to be your wake up call, that in order to move forward, you're going to have to, you know, make some kind of move here. And we'll clarify these just to see. Hidden enemy, strong bond, union, marriage, soulmate connection, Costanza, it's to persevere, to have hope, and to, you know, but someone's feeling stuck or like they can't move forward, you know, that they, they, they're wanting to, but they, they don't know what to do or they don't know how to 
persevere in this. You know, that they're they're feeling stuck. Um, One of the world, we have, you know, someone who's trying to look towards the future or have a bright outlook or see things, you know, in the long term. And then we have Donna Meditata, which is, you know, the married lady. Now, this could be um, someone who we view, you know, that, that we respect, or someone that we view as someone we want to build a home with, a life with, a wife, a mother, um, so this is on Woman of the World. <clears throat> Stop, look, listen. We got Fortuna. There's a Wheel of Fortune. Things can turn around for the better. In regards to Lamika, which is someone that you considered a confidant, a best friend, someone who was you were close to, um, surprise. We have hope, and then we have the reunion. So again. This is either her feelings, you know, she's wanting things to turn around just as much as you do, or this is how you're feeling about the situation. Um, but this is, again, what you need to know about the feminine. And, you know, again, she's wanting things to turn around for the better you know she she's trying to have a bright outlook for the future she's trying to have hope in regards to you know reconciling or you know maybe even <laughs> marrying you you know because we have the married lady here trying to see long term if this is someone that you know she can she can build a life with you um but there is some kind of sense of of feeling stuck non-movement or can't move forward on on these dreams and hopes and what it is that they're they're wanting now what the feminine should know in regards to the masculine is good news greed reconciliation peace brown-haired woman Faith, heartbreak, doubt, and storm. So feminine, what you need to know about the masculine is good news. They also want to reconcile. They also want peace with you. They're also trying to have faith despite their doubts that you guys can weather the storm and get over this heartbreak. Um, so you're both obviously wanting the same things here. Let's see. Good news. Good news. We have Desperata por Jealousia. This is being distraught with jealousy or despair or, or just being uncertain, confused. So again, they, they, they want this, but they're unsure if they'll be able to have it. Again, because the mask has been fearing speaking up, fearing making a move, because again, it requires change. And change can be scary, especially if they're going to be leaving one situation for another, and especially if they have money issues, especially if they're they're worrying about how they're going to be perceived, if they're coming back as, you know, being codependent again, or, you know, so there is some, they want it, but there is some worries as about if if they can attain it with you. But again, it's, it's people that are in their heads, probably because they haven't talked. Um, so again, fearing the worst, hoping for the best, fearing the worst. 
greed. Mercante, somebody's wanting to, the greed is about our desires and what we want. We're just trying to figure out a way. Perhaps Mercante is someone, again, who's at a distance, someone who wants to travel to see you, someone who desires to travel to see you, someone who desires to, to negotiate with you some kind of new beginning, a reconciliation. But again, they're a little distraught over it because they're worried that perhaps that they'll be rejected. You know, that's what they're saying. Let go of control issues. Let go of all of that stuff. Let it unfold naturally. Let's see. Brown-haired woman. Brown-haired woman. We got Falsita. La Fidelta. El Vivido. And Sacerdote. Because, again, there was lies involved here. They, they were false with you. You know, they were false in their loyalty to you. This is about loyalty, fidelity, relationships. So, you know, a false relationship that they have regrets now about it. Um, and they're, they're wanting to heal this situation or they're trying to follow their, their spiritual guidance in regards to fixing things with you. We're trying again to have faith. He is a man of faith, the sacerdote. Let's see, heartbreak. We got Fortuna. Hoping that the heartbreak can turn around. Like I said, that you can weather the storm. You know, but again, they're doubts, doubtful, you know, because they, they don't know. Because again, maybe it's been forever. Maybe you guys have been separated for a long time. And the longer you are, the less likely people are believing that they'll be forgiven or they'll be given a second chance because again you know when there's been no communication or no one's voice and people have been holding back you know you're you've been sending out a message that you're not interested and now that you're interested you're hiding it you're not <laughs> expressing it because you fear again that they'll be like well it's too late for that but they're telling you don't do that Give your relationship a chance. Make the effort. If you want something, you got to put in the effort. You got effort cards here twice. Um, so, again, now we have what does the masculine. Um, oh, and how does these feelings, I'm sorry, how is it now affecting this union? And we have the challenge position of the Swan Queen, transformation, intuition, and patience. So we'll read that. And then I ask, well, why the Swan Queen in reverse? And then we have the flip side of the lovers. This is from the vice versa tarot. So it's not necessarily a reversal, but it's like the flip side, which I'll also read from. So we'll see how this... Both people wanting the same thing, both people wanting to express their feelings, both people wanting to move on, to reunite, but there's frustration, confusion, um, assumptions, doubts, you know, all of that, and it's, it's affecting your being able to come together. So let's see in what way it's affecting it. When the Swan Queen appears to challenge you, it's time to stop doubting your inner voice. See? Don't let your analytical mind prevent you from seeing the miracles that spirit places in front of you. Another message the Swan Queen shows you in the mirror of your life is your fear of change. Oh my God, I just said that. See? Why fear what's inevitable? Everything in life changes and transforms from one moment to the next. Holding on to the past only distorts and mangles the natural order of things. That's why they say let go of control issues. If you can, in spite of your fear, be gentle with yourself and allow for change. Only beauty will come of it. Most important, a shift in perspective is what's called for now. And because I says, well, why is a shift in perspective called for? And then we have this lovers on the flip side which is 
Twilight descends upon the lovers who gaze out upon a peaceful green landscape. They appear ready to step forward into their life together. He bears the alchemical symbol for fire on his back, and she has a symbol for water. When united by Mercury, they form a hexagram that shines in the heavens, the alchemical marriage. It's, again, the divine union, bringing the two together. When you get this side in a reading, the energy is much cooler here than the other side and more balanced. The lovers are alone now. The archangel is gone. There is a sense of calm rather than, rather than urgency. It should soon be easier to see where you are going and how you will get there together. Consider how your elemental qualities complement those of your significant other. Where they create an explosion and where they come together in perfect union. So it's again shifting your perspective knowing that this is a divine union, knowing that you should be together, knowing that the both of you want to be together, that you should give your relationship a chance, you should make the effort. Both people need to put in the effort if you want something to come out of it. Let go of control issues. Work on your finances. Work on whatever it is that's, that's keeping you stuck or separated. Because there is a mutual love here. There is a desire to reconcile. And they're saying that this stuck energy, these fears, these doubts, these worries, this is what's preventing you from having the abundance that you can have should you put in the effort. Now, what the masculine needs to know about the feminine and her current energy um, and what's going on with her is we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Sun, the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. So, you know, Seven of Pentacles is obviously about checks and balances, contemplating the value of one's efforts. Um, you know, would it be beneficial to continue to invest you know, long-term investment, would it pay off? That's why you had the Belvedere, the lady with the monocle or whatever. She's looking out to the future. She's trying to assess, you know, if you guys can have the sun or if she needs to walk away and find something else that's more emotionally fulfilling. Maybe she's been putting in effort and getting nothing in return, and, and, and that's been kind of illuminated for her, and she's trying to, again, assess what to do here. You know, again, maybe this frustration is her, wondering about should she reconcile, wondering if she should be putting in the efforts. You know, maybe she's looking for a message from you to, 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 to kind of know where this is going, how you feel, where you stand, because, you know, she wants the Ten of Cups. She wants happiness, joy, fulfillment, you know, the, the happy home life, the Ace of Cups. This is like, you know, heaven's gift of love. You know, this is what she's walking towards. This is what she wants, and she's wondering, you know, can it be had with you, or, you know, does she need to go somewhere else? Um, and she also wants the both of you to walk away from the hurts and pains of the past so that you can have this, you know, together. But again, she's not sure. You know, she's not sure. And this is what's leading to her frustrations. She's not sure what judgment to make. Um, and again, she's trying to be optimistic. She's trying to believe that there'll be a dawn following the darkest night. You know, it's, it's, it's also about transition, change, wanting that, being open to that, moving towards that. You know, this is in her mind because she wants love. She wants joy. She wants fulfillment. She wants her efforts to be matched. Um... And what the feminine needs to know about the masculine in his current state of energy or thoughts or whatever is we have the King of Cups. And then we have the Hermit. And then we have, sorry, we have the Moon. And then we have the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. So obviously the masculine is thinking about it. 
He's in deep reflection. He's going within. He's trying to get himself emotionally balanced. He's trying to think long term. He's trying to figure out a way to reveal these secrets or these hidden feelings that he has to offer his love, to come together with you. So again, you're both wanting the same thing. You're both wanting the same thing. It's just getting people to make the move, to go towards that, to again, let go of the fears, worries, and doubts and put in the effort so that this Ace of Cups can be had, the Two of Cups can be had, the Ten of Cups can be had. You guys can walk away from no longer what no longer serves you. If you're in codependent relationships, you need to get out of that. Go back to the, to the feminine. You know, work on your finances so that doesn't turn into another codependent situation. Like, whatever it is, it's about working on yourselves, making yourselves better so that you can come together. Better people have better to offer each other. Again, a relationship bent, uh, bent, a relationship based in complementing one each other, not being dependent or needy or filling voids or in that shadow self. It's about, again, emotional maturity, gaining wisdom, you know, revealing truths, embracing the unknown, and sharing your love so that you can have, have it all as they say. And the advice for the masculine is the dog, which is all about loyalty. Um, you have the dog too here for Delta. It's about loyalty, faithfulness. You know, show your loyalty. Show your faithfulness to this person, to this union. And then we have the fish, which is all about money. Again, finances, finances. You know, this is about abundance. So maybe it's, you know, get your finances together. Express how you want to be committed and loyal to this person. And then we have the tree, which is about, you know, roots, stability, setting roots, um, family roots. And if this is a divine union, it's joining the two your spiritual family, as they say. I marked off here the little cards. The dog, loyalty and friendship is what I stand for. I am protection and trust, support and reliance. Um, when negative cards are around, make sure to take a closer look. I could, bring, I could be your counselor, your pet, or your best friend. Depicted here is the dog, a reliable, faithful friend who can be trusted and who loves you unconditionally. The dog is self-contained. It is more than content with its role and holds the lead with a ball in the background as if to say, you know what to do. It is a symbol of companionship. So the dog can signify a close friend in a reading who is trustworthy, brings a sense of loyalty and faith to the cards around it. Um... So again, it's, it's knowing that this person will also be faithful and loyal to you. But again, it's about you expressing that. You obviously want it, but you're needing to express it. You know, and perhaps, you know, you got to get your finances in order in order to travel to see this person. So we have finances and career and retreat. So again, it's, it's maybe the person over here already kind of knows the situation, but they're, you know, reiterating to you to kind of get that going so that you can get this relationship going. And then we have uh, the fish. Again, I bring plenty and abundance. I deal in commerce and sales. I advocate independence and promote self-reliance. Again, no more codependent stuff. Water expansion and flow is my department. Be careful not to tip the scales between tipsy and loaded. You don't want to end up dizzy and bloated. But oops. <laughs> the fish of the Lenormand symbolizes resources and money. The three fish here in the blue depths show that we can dive deep to gather in food and abundance. In some traditions, the card also symbolizes wealth. When this card appears, it teaches us to make the most of the resources that we possess. Um, 
make a little go a long way. So it's, again, you don't have to be Rockefeller in order to get this situation going. You know, but if you got to get money together to move, you got to get that or just to survive. So again, so just so you can be equal contributor. You know, that that's always a saying, get your finances, because for a lot of masculines and feminines, this is part of their karma, their relationship with money. And then number five, the tree, I am here to stay and grow. I am the health of your body, mind, and soul. Look for the cards next to me to find out more about me. When negative cards are closed, pack some tissues for your nose. But there's no negative cards here. It's all positive. A sign of health and longevity, an imperative to put down one's roots to ensure a secure future. That includes being financially secure, being secure within oneself, you know, doing, doing the shadow work, healing oneself, setting down roots. You know, again, it could be marriage, relationship, union, um, a family life. And we have a treehouse that speaks of security, but great, uh, but great family responsibility. So, again, it's about getting grounded, the tree of life, a spiritual symbol that has its roots in the most ancient civilizations. It speaks of antiquity and ancient roots. The card's meaning also uh, can be seen in the rainbow that's in the card perhaps suggesting that true health is to be found in aligning ourselves between that which is above and that which is below. The harmony of the colors reflecting through the tree symbolizes the holistic nature of healing in life itself. So the advice for the masculine, again, it's about grounding oneself, setting down roots, financial and relationship-wise, coming into union, getting oneself, you know, ready for that, prepared for that, and this also symbolizes, again, longevity, a potential for longevity, a potential for a long-term partnership, a committed partnership that will be full of abundance. And the advice for the feminine is we have the heart and the swans, and then we have the anchor, and then we have the child. So it's about, you know, love, coming together in union, new beginnings, something that is grounded and stable and secure, um, almost like the tree. You know, it's about setting down those grounded, those roots that are going to hold you firm in this relationship, in this new beginning, in this long-term union. And we have here 35, 24, the form of happiness and love is simply drawn in my shape. I am your feelings and emotions. I am your passions and devotions. Just make sure no bad cards are around to spoil this fondness and affection. And there isn't. Again, it's all positive. In antique Lenormand decks, the design of the heart varies from an almost biological, physical heart to a kiddish, romantic heart embroidered with flowers and other adornments. The heart is, of course, symbolic of love and relationship. Here we see the heart formed by two swans, a bird itself symbolically of, of courtly relationship, monogamy, and enduring love. That's why I said enduring faithfulness, longevity, setting down roots. This also symbolizes an enduring love that is based in something that is grounded and stable. The heart is always a card signifying beneficial emotions. Um... So then we have the anchor, stability and security. I bring peace of mind. I push you to persevere and help you to reach your goal. Um, so I'm trying to just read what is necessary. The anchor is a traditional symbol of hope or faith. It offers stability and security being confident that your hard work will pay off in the long term. That's what she's contemplating here. You know, will my efforts, will, will it bear any fruit? Am I putting in all my efforts for nothing? But they're telling you that it can. Your hard work will pay off. If this one speaks up, 
The anchor of the reverie is adorned with two fish symbolizing abundance and wealth in the Lenormand. Um, so you are protected in times of need. It's an assurance. And then, of course, 13, the child. I am young. I am new. I am playful and immature. I am a baby, a kid, or a teenager, small, short, or tiny in other ways to describe me. It could be, you know, a little person, but we're seeing here that it could be, it's more than likely new beginning. Um, a place of wonderment, innocence, hope. And the ability, the ability to play, time and place where imagination is unchanged, uh, unchained. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the early stages of development, where changes can be made in a positive future formed. Um, the open book of fairy tales, the once upon a time, the remaining are blank pages yet to be populated. So it's 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 to be hopeful in regards to this. That it can be something stable. It can be something long-lasting. The same advice is given to the masculine. And the advice for you both is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And then we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And then we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Now this of course, goes with the get, letting go of control issues, you know, get to know each other, you know, as you reveal your feelings, your bond can deepen, you know, if you let go of the fear, if you give your relationship a chance, if you put in the effort, because during this time of separation, the universe has been trying to work with you on yourselves individually and to help you get through this separation in order to try to bring you back together because your love life has the possibility to engage, you know, to ascend to a higher level of commitment if you engage with each other, if you get to know each other, if you work on reconciling from this separation, coming back together. And on that note... <laughs> I think it's positive. Like I said, it's just about people needing to get out of their, their fears and worries, their assumptions, and, and say what they got to say. Because, again, this is an opportunity, and opportunities don't last forever. You know, doors close. Does that mean that it won't open again sometime in the future? It might, but, you know, why take that chance? Why wait? Why, why throw it to the wind for a maybe, you know? But obviously, if you don't come together, you'll end up with other people. But they're saying you need to work on this partnership, that these people need to come together, especially if they're twin flames or soulmates that are, you know, life lifelong partners. They're telling you, get the let out, express your feelings, get out of your own way. Basically, get out of your own way that there's a good possibility for something real here to be had. But you got to put in the effort. So on that note, I send you love and light. I wish you healing and luck in regards to this and anything else you might be going through. Um, please like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. And do leave comments and let me know if you like the new spread, if you like all this extra information. Um, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.